Welcome to Origins, where we go more in depth into the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. Today we're going to cover Vixen, a minor character who frequents the Justice League and is actually getting a cartoon television show that will tie into the CW Arrow universe. Now before we begin, I want to let you know where we got this origin from because you're going to notice something very strange about the panels that we choose to use. Vixen was originally going to star in her own comic series back in the 1980s, but the book was cancelled before it could even launch along with about 30 other comic books. This is known as the DC Implosion. She then popped up in cameos with her powers already in place and no established origin. But the original comic eventually got released by DC in a special comic book that revisited all of those books that got cancelled. So here is the original origin from the 1980s book. But as you'll notice, the panels never got inked or colored or even cleaned up. So this is about as raw as it gets guys, so we're going to be using a lot of imagery from her more recent appearances to make the video look a little bit better than it probably would have ended up if we just used the panels. Mari McCabe grew up in Africa, where she was raised by the Reverend Jaiwi and her mother. The Reverend had in his possession the magical Tantu Totem, which had been created by the African trickster god. This granted him amazing powers that he used to protect the village and Africa itself. Well, Mari had a loving family, and one day her mother was actually killed, leaving her in the hands of her father only. She would have stayed with her father forever and just grew up there in their village, except that his half-brother demanded the Tantu Totem. So, on one fateful day, her father was killed by his half-brother as he attempted to get the Tantu Totem. Mari was taken by a fellow reverend, the Reverend Peak, who took her and the Tantu Totem to America to grow up away from that life, and he locked away the totem. She also locked away the memories of her childhood and of losing her mother and her father. But due to her uncle making an appearance on the television as a representative of Africa and the UN, all of those memories came rushing back. She immediately went to her lawyer to try and accuse her uncle of murder, but the lawyer told her that the only way that she could stop him was to get the UN involved, and they wouldn't touch this since it was such an old situation. Mari was torn as she went back to her home where she fell asleep to the nightmares of her mother and her father being killed. And when she woke up, she discovered that her boyfriend had been going through her old possessions, and he had found the original Tantu totem that her father had held and used. Shocked by what this appeared to be, she decided to look this object up, since it obviously was what her uncle wanted so badly that he could actually kill his half-brother for it. Through her research, she discovered that this was a magical totem that would grant her supernatural powers if she chanted Tantu Mumbra. So, she learned and she studied it, and eventually, she unlocked its secrets and learned how to use the spirits of various animals, and she became the Vixen, the Lady Fox. Now, the story does go on, and she does eventually get her vengeance, but as all of this is a lost storyline with the original issues that never made it to print, I really don't want to go into them too much more, but I do hear that the new TV show is going to revisit this entire origin. Now, Vixen is an extremely important comic book character. Originally, she was supposed to be the first female African character to get her own book before they cancelled it before it could even launch. Because of the fact that it was cancelled and no one got to know who she was, she was regulated to cameo roles, and this got her characterized as a stereotypical stock African American character before she was brought into the Justice League of America. Her actual powers originally came from the totem, but it was later revealed that the totem just keeps her from losing her mind to the animal spirits. So, the power basically is the ability to contact the spiritual essence known as the Red in the DC Universe. The Red allows Vixen to draw upon the abilities of any animal that has lived on the planet by focusing on it. So basically, she can fly like a hawk, breathe underwater like a fish, run like a cheetah, wall crawl like a spider, jump like a cricket, have the strength of a bull elephant, and even do crazier things like spit venom like a cobra, and have the stubbornness of a mule, which allowed her to resist Brainiac's mind control techniques. She can even let herself go and actually transform into these animals at times, having been known to change into a gray wolf, an owl, and a cougar. Now, not only is she a cool superhero who doesn't get a lot of attention, but she also has a six-part miniseries coming onto the CW real soon, in which we're going to relearn her origin and learn how she got her powers. She's also going to get a live-action cameo in the Arrow and Flash TV shows, and if all of this goes well, she'll eventually get her own live-action show in that universe. So that's it for Vixen. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you learned something new, give this video a like. Also, don't forget, we have a gaming channel that actually started this whole comic story and thing, known as Eligible Monster. Come join us for gaming variety videos, and we can all be friends! If you want to chat about this video or any others, hit me up, at ComicStorian on Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time, right here.